Well, this is Philip Robertson from Philip Robertson Property, and I'm here to present this week's wrap. And I can tell you, well, from last week's report, SQM research figures are showing that listings across all capital cities rebounded last month in January. SQM, in fact, uh, Research Managing Director Lewis Christopher, he said that we saw a real surge in new listings last month, one of the strongest increases in supply of home sales that we've seen for a number of years. Now, in terms of listings uh, and, and them bouncing back, well, we saw Hobart lead the way. Their listings increased by 5% compared to December as sellers moved to take advantage of that price growth recorded in recent years. Uh, new stock listings were up in Sydney, they rose by 5%. Uh, Perth listings were up by 3.2%. Brizzy was up by 3%. Melbourne, 27 And Adelaide's listings were up by 2.6%. However, listings did remain lower year on year across all capital cities. In fact, Sydney and Darwin were down both by 25%. Uh, clearance rates so far this year, definitely been higher than a year ago, confirming that, no surprise, buyer confidence, it's on the way back. And in fact, domain senior research analyst, Nicola Powell, well, Nicola says the market is starting to kick back into gear and we'll begin to see lots of new listings come on between now and Easter. Uh, she also went on to say that lending conditions were tight and that there'd been an oversupply of stock uh, 12 months ago, but a marked improvement in conditions has certainly encouraged buyers to return to auctions. CoreLogic has reported that with record high values for Aussie dwellings expected this year, we are going to see the fastest recovery on record. Since national dwelling values, they bottomed out at 8.4% below their peak of June last year, the Australian dwelling market, well, it's quickly recovered already 6.7%, according to CoreLogic's Eliza Owen. Now, Ms Owen, in fact, stated that if growth rates continued at the January trajectory, Australian dwelling values, or well, the market will make a full recovery, believe it or not, uh, by April, which is marking a 10-month recovery period. Now, that compares to an average recovery time of 11.7 months across previous cycles. This is absolutely remarkable when you think about it, when considering that the relatively long time it took for the market to bottom out. Now, Owen also said that housing finance data from the ABS is showing much more activity from her first home buyers, uh, upgraders and downsizers in this current recovery. So during the previous upswing from 2012, to 2017, we saw owner occupiers account for 59% of new housing finance, but over the past seven months, this has jumped to 71%. Now, news in from the RBA, the Reserve Bank, is forecasting that Australia's economy will grow by about 2.75% this year and by 3% uh, the following year, confirming that there is, despite the bushfires and coronavirus, a positive outlook for the nation. Uh, in fact, Reserve Bank Governor Phil Philip Lowe has said that the falling unemployment uh, through reconstruction, it's going to counter any damaging effects of both uh, the virus and bushfires. He's suggesting that the slowdown in global growth that started back in 2018 was coming to an end. Uh, and in fact, global growth was expected to be slightly stronger this year and even stronger the following year or the next year. Now he attributes that expected growth to the low level of interest rates, uh, recent tax refunds, ongoing spending on infrastructure, and a brighter outlook for the resources factor. And later this year, he's also expecting that there will be a recovery in the residential construction market. Again, first home buyer home loans, well, they surged in December to their highest level since late 2009. Now, that's according to new ABS data. Now, Master Builders Chief Economist Shane Garrett, well, he said the volume, volume of loans to first home buyers increased 6.2% to a record monthly total of 9,606. Uh, finally, we are seeing investors uh, coming back to the market. Shane Garrett from the Master Builders revealed that property investors' home loans increased, or sorry, expanded, I should say, for the third consecutive month and hit a 14-month high during December. So friends, that's my wrap for this week. Have yourselves an absolutely magnificent uh, weekend. Many parts of Australia are getting absolutely drenched at the moment. And uh, here in Melbourne, we've uh, had an amazing hot day with, uh, and now we've got thunderstorms. So go figure, it's Australia. Australia's uh, strangest, well, strange weather. But have a great weekend, everyone. Take care. Philip Robertson of Philip Robertson Property saying bye for now.